Todd, when they bought the piece of property, the mill, they went. Uh, they were going for uh, an environmental indemn indemnification uh, liability for the contaminants that are on the site. But they don't want to be held responsible for the contaminants that are there and cleaning them up. To do that, uh, to the, according to state law, they have to do a complete inventory, drill well, test water, and all sorts of things of all the contaminants on site. And they file what's called a notice of migration of contamination for any hazardous substances that are leaving the site. And they have to file this with the state of Michigan. And they did this in 2009, uh, about six months, nine months after they bought the property. And they reported 26 hazardous substances leaving the site. There were far more substances that were on the site, but 26 that are migrating uh, off of the site. And these are all kinds of metals and uh, volatile organic compounds and PNAs, polynuclear aromatics. So there's organic chemicals as well as things like metals and non-organic uh, compounds, things leaving the site. So the site right now has, is quite polluted. Um, what they're going to be doing is adding 25 million tons of sulfide uh, tailings to the lake. Um, those tailings, uh, as, as was being described previously, they're getting ground to a silk size fraction, very fine ground. Their metal reduced, or their metals, um, Flotation cells will only remove 60, 70, 80 at the most percent of the copper or nickel or metals that are in the tailings. So there's a lot of metals still left in the tailings when they go into the, into the lake. Um, they say that the tailings will be safe because they're underwater and there isn't oxygen. But all you need is dissolved oxygen in the water and you create uh, acid mine drainage within the lake. And most lakes do turn over and do get reoxygenated, so there is definitely a threat of acid mine drainage in, in the lake itself. Uh, there's all already, like, the Rose Gold Mine put 18 million tons of tailings into the pond or into the lake there. Uh, those are there now. Uh, there's a lot of contamination coming off the lake. Kennecott did not buy the lake part of it. That's still owned by Callahan Mining Company uh, in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. And, um, it's just a little uh, deal that they've got going on. Kennecott just bought the mill property, but the lake belongs to somebody else. Uh, the EPA, I'll mention, is uh, doing a Superfund investigation of the site there at the request of the tribe. Um, we've got the EPA interested in, and we sent them this form that Kennecott filed, the migration contamination off-site, and said, look, there's got 26 hazardous substances leaving the site you really ought to look at. It. This could be a super fun site and they've been looking into it for about the past uh, two years, year and a half. Um, they're now working with the company because now they got to the next stage to qualify for a on-site visit because they found enough contamination there. Uh, so their lawyers are now trying to get permission for the EPA to come onto the site, but they're a bit stalled at that. And I'm sure the mining companies, Kennecott and Coeur Lane Mining Company, are fighting it and trying to figure out how to get around this and out of it and do we have to do it. Uh, 